Hey guys, welcome back to the First Kingdom server. So in today's episode I'm gonna show you guys what I have been up to in the server. And also we are going to do some shopping in the shopping district. So first of all I want to show uh, the Enderman farm that uh, we had a contest for designs and my design won and I had to build this in the end so I'm gonna go there now to show you guys that but first since I'm going there by the nether I'm gonna show you guys my nether tunnel because I have renovated it so let's see that first okay so I'm here uh, in the nether roof uh, here is my nether portal down there and that's the way to the gold farm so let's show, first of all I renewed this place up here uh, removed all the nether rack and placed this black stone and uh, honeycomb blocks and also made a little room here where my portal is right and I made this door to go on the outside of the nether here there's a stairs there and I also made this uh, tunnel door since my tunnel is kind of small, it's like 16 blocks or so. So you just step here and it opens and when you step back it closes and also make this sound. That's actually the sound of note blocks on top of gold blocks. Right? So as I'm the gold king, right? Or maybe not anymore. <laughs> I have to hear the sound of gold when I'm entering my tunnel. I also placed some blackstone here, but uh, maybe someone else can make it a better design for the main tunnel here. Yeah, so now let's go to the Enderman farm. So I'm here at the end portal, and it was decorated by Gizelman here and it looks uh, great uh, way better than the mess it was before right there's even a little room here to set your respawn for fighting the Ender Dragon yeah but now let's go to the end and see the Enderman farm yeah so here is the only farm we made last episode and this is the Enderman farm. I'm gonna try to make a tutorial for this, but but yeah, so if you activate the lever here, the headstone lamps will turn off and the Enderman will start spawning soon. Yeah, and you can come here and repair your tools, get some XP to enchant and all that uh, good stuff. You do have the mob cap in the server uh, reduced a bit because we were having problems with lag. Yeah, but if you build this in single player or in a server that uh, doesn't have any changes in the mob cap, it's probably gonna be a little bit faster. So, yeah, that's the Ender main farm. And now uh, I want to show. You guys, yet another farm that I built. Uh, and by the way, this Enderman farm in that nether tunnel I showed, I built in live streams. So remember to follow me on twitch.tv slash Douglas Gordon And you can catch up with my streams. And yeah, the next farm is a raid farm. And I didn't build it in live streams, but I did record a time lapse. So if the time lapse actually work, then I'm gonna show you guys right now and come back later to show you in person, I guess.
So I made this part on the roof to an outpost that's a little bit close to my uh, part of here to the farm because I need the bed only effect that you can see here I got and I'm gonna show you guys how to use the farm now it's a actually very simple farm so now that you have the bed only you need to go down here pressing this button and the raid will start and now you go up here in this water elevator And now you actually have to wait for that raid bar uh, to uh, get the raid victory and then disappear. So the raid bar disappeared and you press this button and then you will start falling here and you just have to kill them. And as you can see I already got a bad omen again. Yeah, I think it was everyone. And also, these minecarts here get the vexes because they are kind of a pain in the ass, right? And I also made this little stair here, I guess, so I can pause the minecart and come here, kill the vexes. Because sometimes we can get uh, heads. Yeah. So now uh, you have to do all the process again, go down there with the bed only, wait for the raid victory bar to appear, kill everyone, and also make this kind of simple separator here, so all the uh, non-stackable stuff here comes, comes here, right? And actually when using it's better if you fill your inventory so you don't get this bunch of items here, but I kind of forgot that. And here all the emeralds come, and here comes the other stuff that uh, is stacks, but they are not emeralds, right? Yeah, and uh, by the way, we had a lot of like almost 9 stacks of emeralds before here, you didn't get all that in just one use. And now what I do is I remove these totems here, and put this on this chest here, and I, if I don't want anything else here, I pull this lever and everything goes down the hopper there, there is a dropper in the lava and then I lock the hoppers again and use the farm again so yeah, that's it but now let's go to the shopping district because I actually made a shop for this farm there I'm back here at the shopping district and this shop here that once was the review shop and then later the gold block shop and then later I, I was trying to sell the shop and no one bought now it's the raid shop so yeah I'm selling emeralds here but I actually think I, I'm gonna have to lower the price because other people are selling cheaper I guess and here I'm selling Totem of Undyne so I checked the uh, caster's shop and he was selling for 10 diamonds and I undercut him <laughs> and I actually also make a book deals I sold two shulker boxes today uh, for 69 diamonds each so yeah and now I'm gonna uh, do a shopping spree I guess gonna buy a lot of stuff on the shopping district but I'm not gonna show this on camera, like I said I'm doing a bunch of live streams and I'm actually live right now so if you wanna uh, check uh, this kind of stuff you can follow me on Twitch so let's do the shopping spree now okay guys so I finished my shopping spree and I spent uh, pretty much one stack of diamond blocks and these are the items I bought I tried to buy one item at least from every shop and at least the shops that I don't own or the shops that had stock right because some of them were out of stock but 
now I need to go to my base, place these chokers there, and sort everything. But I'm not gonna do that because we have this shop here, the Merry Maids. Because what this shop does is sorts your chokers and chests. So yeah, I'm gonna put an order here. Uh, let's see what I can type here. So please organize dogs mass base at minus 400 to 200. Thanks. So let's sign it and organize. <laughs> okay. So I think we can be here. Yeah. So I guess that's it for today's episode, guys. Hope you like it, and don't forget to follow me on YouTube and Twitch. I'm doing a lot of live streams nowadays. So yeah, thanks for watching, and I see you in the next episode. Bye. Thank you.